everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today with another estate sale haul and I'm going to throw in some Goodwill outlet and thrift store items in there as well. So let's go ahead and start with the patterns that I found at the estate sale. Super cute children's patterns. This one is from 1976. This one's super cute. This is from 1975. This one's also adorable. And it's from 1975. This one, so cute. I like that she looks all grown up in bell bottoms. So this one is from 1976. And then this one does not have a date. Pajamas here. This is 1977. And then I found this golden book and did not realize it had so much scribbling on there, but it is um, pencil, so I'm going to try to clean it up. This is from, it's not that old. This is from 1982, originally 1950. And I think I have this one already. Yeah, these kids look familiar. All right. And of course, I found a lot of fabric. That's the thing I'm finding the most of these days. So my Goodwill outlet does not have a lot of books anymore. So I'm really in search for books. But everywhere I go, it seems like there's always textiles. So I just keep on getting textiles. <laughs> this is a gingham material and it's a little bit shiny. It doesn't, I'm not sure what kind of fabric this is, but it's a little bit shiny. Can't describe it, but I love gingham. So I got that. I got some pillowcases from here and there's this one. It looks super old. I got this one. I love this blue. And then this one. I like this edging on here. I got two of these. And then I got this one. Um, the person who owned this did a lot of sewing. So there's bits of this. These are cut into strips, which is nice because I've been doing a lot um, with fabric strips. So I can just use some already cut. I love this fabric, this vibrant turquoise blue. Not the biggest fan of this, but that's okay. And then I found just this little print here, which I love. Here's one of those pattern things. So I guess this piece of fabric, you can make a pa uh, an apron like this and it has instructions and everything. And this is just the instruction part. I'm not sure if the fabric itself is in here, but that's fine because I could always use just this. Here's another piece of that. Here's some Raggedy Ann. Hmm. I think this 
was part of some pattern, but I'm not sure what. I guess you could turn this into an applique using fusible adhesives. I'm not sure. But in, in any case, I love Raggedy Ann and Andy, so I just got it. This one's cute. And this um, has its fabric right here, which I love this pattern. So that was great. A little bit more of that one. And then here's another one. So this one's still in one piece. Yeah. So here are the instructions. And it makes, oh, so it makes a whole outfit. It makes this as well as the, I guess this isn't an apron. It's a, is it a pinafore? I'm not sure. But yeah, so I might cut it up and use it, or I'm not sure. Yeah, this thing is called a pinafore. So I thought that was cool. I've been going to a lot of sales with Raggedy Ann stuff. I found this little book, and it's so cute. Let's see if there is a copyright date. Copyright 2000. Let's see what the cover is. That's super cute. All right, and the last thing I found at that estate sale were these, oh my God, it almost opened <laughs> this glitter it looks like pastel glitter almost so glitter and sequins and I've actually been wanting sequins because I want to and these are big sequins so they'll be perfect because I want to make shaker cards and these have different shapes so I do still want to have a vintage feel, but I'll try to figure out how to make this feel vintage -ish in a shaker card. All right, and then I just got a couple things from this one thrift store. Oh, this is from another estate sale where I just went in and got these, and she charged me a dollar for these. They're gold doilies and they are just they're almost obnoxious because they're so gold <laughs> um but what i do sometimes well the packaging is kind of cute okay so what i do i like this one a lot i sometimes make decorations for events like bridal showers or weddings um, or birthdays things like that and I do Marie Antoinette themed like I make little shoes that are super embellished and different decorations so these would be perfect and it seems like each package is pretty thick like this one seems super thick but I figure if I'm gonna go out and get doilies, they're not gonna be this interesting. And there's a lot in here for a dollar. So I was excited about that. And then I found this at a thrift store. It was one dollar, but all the blue tags were 50 cents off. So I decided to get it. And it's needlework. I think it includes all four designs. And it's really cute. 
They didn't finish everything, but that's fine. So there's, and I mean, it was just 50 cents. And then there's a bunch of yarn in here. So I got that. It kind of smells like soy sauce. Okay. And then I found this for a dollar, but there's 50 of them in here. And they're educational cards, I guess. But they're actually die cuts. So it even says, where did it say it? I think it was the box. So they're field guides, which is really cool because um, there's so many different kinds of butterflies. Like you could actually learn from this and there's 50 die cut cards. So just the fact that they're die cuts is cool enough, but you, it's even educational. Maybe I'll keep this like this for a while so that I could kind of read through these. But once I'm done, I could just go ahead and cut just one side of it and this will be cool in an art journal. Yeah, I'll probably use these in an art journal. I probably wouldn't use these in um, a junk journal because they're not drawings, they're photographs. But I've really been wanting to get back into to art journaling. Um, but fun fact about me, I'm actually scared of butterflies because yeah, their wings look beautiful and they fly so gracefully, but I'm still scared of them. And I think it's because I don't like bugs. And when you think about it, the middle of a butterfly is a bug. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one, but I mean, their wings really are so pretty. Okay. And then the last thing I found there was this washi tape. 25 cents and it is just a Daiso one but I think this design would go cute with um, like vintage cards it reminds me of like vintage cute little vintage cards and things like that and then I went to this other thrift store and I found this which it's not old. My work actually uses this. So I'll go ahead and open it. This was $3 with 25% off. So I love these sorters. I use these every day at work. And what you do is like this, this is a number one. So in the front, it's a number one. And in the back, it's a monthly one. So let's say I wanted to file, like file for some reason. So I would just, you know, flip open and file it there. So I was thinking maybe I could tape like a guide here. So let's say I wanted to collect pictures in here. This really opens wide. Like it can pile up really high, but it keeps everything sorted. So I'm always trying to find ways to store things. So even if I wanted to use this for, let's say, glue book images, I could put like a little guide here. Like number one are flowers. Two could be background pages. Three could be focal points. And then I would just file it in here. Every time I tore a piece out of the magazine, I could just put it here if it was a flower page. And then, you know, keep going. And it expands so big that you could just do anything with it. Like if I wanted to put book pages, I could do number one, children's book pages. Number two, um, I don't know, flower pictures. Number three, vintage images. And then as I tore them out of the book pages, I could just file them here. And then if, when I'm looking for anything, I just can just go through here. I don't know, I might do that. I'll try that. But I love sorters. <laughs> and then, so everything at that estate sale, 
or at this thrift store was 50 cents. I mean, it was 25% off. So this was a dollar and it ended up being 75 cents. They're book plates. And here's another box of book plates with butterflies. And then, oh, two punch, hole punch. I just got it because I have these fasteners that I want to do something with. So, I don't know. That would come in handy. And she just gave me this for free. It's like, it reminds me of my childhood, so I got it. And then lastly, I just got a couple items from the Goodwill outlet. Found this book. They are illustrations of the 20s and 30s. And there's just different images in here. And I'm not sure this is a cool page. I'm not too sure what this was made for, but it does say up here. So it's copyright 1989 and it says, hmm. this book belongs to the Dover Pictorial Archive series. You may use the designs and illustrations for graphics and crafts applications, free and without special permission. So I thought I would just look this up. It might be a good resource for printables or something. And then I also found this really cool sheet. I don't believe it's vintage. I think this is a duvet cover because there's two layers here, it seems. Like there's two layers and it's huge. So I think it's a duvet cover, but I just think the images on here are so cool. It almost emulates like a field guide or nature images, like the ones that you would find in Edith Holden books. And it even like, I think they're trying to emulate it and they're putting the names so I thought this would be really cool in a nature journal or a botanical journal. But yeah, super happy with that. All right, I hope you enjoyed this haul and I will talk to you next time. Bye everyone.